Pipe Club. Oh, very cool. Thank you very much. Some Cubans, which I suppose is only natural given that it's the Cuban cigar shop. Not being a cigar aficionado, I can't really comment, but I'm going to try and get as close as I can so people can see what they are. And I'm certainly going to buy a stick or two to see if it's something that I'll enjoy. What I've noticed is that uh, the American cigar shops tobacco shops generally, when it comes to um, pipe tobacco as well, all but different selections. Interesting to see, to hear from people in America how this selection compares to the American selection if you recognize all the names. Quite interesting when I asked them if I'm allowed to take a video, they um, they were a little bit hesitant because of the laws. In America, I've noticed that a lot of the sites they, they uh, put a warning on beforehand, not for 18 year olds, and here on the websites they do so here as well. But um, I think it was more about advertising in England and UK, you're not allowed to advertise tobacco in any shape or form. I'm not sure if that's the same in America as well or not. Such a huge range, it's, it's totally mind-boggling for me. I haven't got the foggiest idea where to start. So I shall be asking them for some advice. Oh, not quite OMS. Close though. I don't know if this is getting boring or not. I imagine the cigar lovers will find it interesting. I'm trying not to go too fast because other videos that I see people shoot around and you can't actually see anything. Right, you probably don't want to see boxes, but sticks. be interesting to hear how the prices compare to the dollar prices. Maybe I'll ask them if we can get uh, if I can get a couple of sticks which are not available in America because I know that I think a lot of people won't export to America, although I do manage to buy stuff in from America, even though I pay a fortune in customs a lot of the time. Uh, perhaps I'll buy some which you would find hard to get there and maybe I could do a trade with a couple of sticks from America which we can't get here, or some pipe tobacco perhaps. The 
there's a bewildering range of sticks, that's all I can say. Cohibas. 33 pounds for that, that's what about $45 for a stick. I recognise some of the names from uh, people like uh, Smoking Grandpa Bones, he's got a stick in his mouth every so often. So, uh, yeah. So that's that, let's have a look at some of the pipe stuff. Got some zippers. Twenty-six pounds for a zipper. Fifty-one pounds. Wow, that's a lot of money. We're talking about seventy, eighty dollars. I think the uh, shop staff have cleared off. They're worried about the uh, advertising laws, which I'm trying to respect as much as possible. Some nice lighters there. Cigar cutters. Pierre Cordon. Okay, Beard and Park Club. And on to pipes. Interesting names there, Jolly Roger, never heard of that. It's nice. And the Nordings. Nice wardens. Check out the prices. A nice little tamper there. Facial hair oil. Or in other language, beard oil. Well, I suppose it could be for a moustache as well, I guess. Sherlock Holmes Peterson. Hmm. Nice. Peterson pipes. I've not got a Peterson, and I think before the end of the next hour or so. I shall probably have one. Not a big fan of this make myself, but they got some nice pipes. Nice calabash. That's nice. Okay. Got some more. Got some missions. Cubs. 
Falcon. Backy. Decent range. I think that's the biggest range I've seen in the UK so far. Not that I've been to many shops, but the, certainly the ones in London haven't got this kind of range. Very, very impressive. And they got loads of loose stuff as well. And I'm going to be trying some Peterson Nutty Cut. Which I've not had before. I'm going to give that a go. So, um, just moving into the smoking room. Bought some cigars and uh, trying to get a, a pipe, which I'm just waiting on to see if I can get a decent price for it. Or rather, get it for a decent price. So I asked them if I can have a smoke in the uh, cigar smoking room and they said that I can smoke my pipe in here, which is really nice because uh, in the London shops they won't allow me to do that. Because they, they're very fussy about the cigar smoking, they won't allow any pipe smoking. So I'm gonna... I've bought some Peterson's uh, Nutty Cut, which I'm gonna smoke in my Moretti. Um, just a small bowl so I can just give it a try and um, a cup of coffee and let you know how that goes Okay, hi YouTube um, So I um, just wanted to show you what I ended up uh, buying at the uh, shop um, I brought it back home now, I'm back in London The shop obviously is in uh, Newcastle um, So I bought some cigars as I mentioned in the clip earlier um, I was going to try and uh, see if I like a bit of cigar smoking, so I bought some cigars. But what I've done is, is I've bought um, some cigars primarily for sending overseas to America. Um, excuse the noise, that's the rain on my uh, conservatory roof. Um, garage, conservatory, call it what you like. Um, what I asked the, the people in the in the cigar shop was to try and find me something which would be harder for you to find in America. So these are regional cigars. These are regional releases specifically for the UK region. Um, so I thought that might be interesting. Um, so they come in a nice box. I asked them to give me these so they should be safe for travel, which is very nice of them. So these ones are Ramon Alon. I think they're 2012 or 13 um, and they're designed or rather they were released for the UK region and again I don't know if how accurate that is I, I don't know much about cigars I'm chucking a little uh, Yumi I don't know what you call them Yumi door or whatever it releases moisture into the bag to keep the cigars nice and moist which is cool and the next one, um, also they're Cuban because I, I don't know how difficult it is for you guys to get them in America, but I seem to see them, plenty of them on video, so you obviously can get them. Um, this is um, La Flor de Cano, or de Cano, I don't know how you uh, pronounce that, Gran Cano, Exclusivo Gran Bretana, so that's exclusively for Great Britain. Again, this is 2012, 2013, something like that. And I bought a couple of those. Um, so that, um, I thought I might trade them, but I think I actually, to keep in spirit with the uh, YouTube community, I'm going to gift those to some people um, at some point. And for myself, um, I didn't want to spend a fortune on big cigars. So just to try out, in case I don't like it, I bought a couple of small ones. Um, this is. It's. Uh, Por La Ranaga. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good or not, but we'll find out. And this one is Fuente. So again, we'll see what that's all about in due course. Um, we've got a couple of uh, tobaccos which I've not had before. One of them is uh, Peterson's Nutty Cut. Um, I tried a bit of that in the shop. They let me. Um, I don't know if that. Can't remember if that's on the clip beforehand or not, but. I tried that, quite nice. Not amazing, but quite nice. I hope the rain is not uh, creating too much background noise. 
This one was quite a revelation for me. This is Radford's, I think it's Thomas Radford's luxury blend. Um, this has got a quite, it's a quite a mild Latakia blend, and it is reminiscent of of um, quite a few of the American Latakia blends, and it's really the first English sort of British British available Latakia blend that I've come across that I've actually um, enjoyed. It's quite mild, and it's a it's kind of a crossover between a, um, a more serious kind of blend and an aromatic. It, it's it's. Somebody who's trying to cross over into uh, from aromatics, that's quite a good one to start with, in my humble opinion, in my sort of inexperienced opinion. Um, I'm going to smoke that in a minute in my new Peterson pipe, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So let's we'll see how that goes. Um, actually, I tell a lie, I'm not going to smoke that in my Peterson, I'm going to smoke something else, which I'll show you in a minute. So um, let's show you the pipe that I bought. Um, I managed to get a, a decent price on this. I think the asking price was nearly £150, which must be around $200 mark. And I got it for £120, so I was happy with that. The traditional Peterson green bag. So, spigot, silver spigot, sterling silver, beautiful flame, uh, flame grain all the way around. Really nice, big pipe. Let's try and get some focus on there. Having uh, purchased quite a few um, artisan pipes, I was kind of moving away from traditional pipes, but um, this one caught my eye and I really, really liked it. Feels good, it's got a nice balance. So I'm going to smoke that in a minute. It's got a real quality feel to it. And I like the spigot idea, although it's a little bit old fashioned looking, but it's just so simple to break down. Um, I just quite like that. I thought maybe this was designed so that you could break it down while it's still hot, but the, um, the lady in the shop said not to. Probably not a good idea because it will still expand and stuff. Um, I can recommend the shop highly. It's, the staff were super, super friendly, super helpful. A little bit camera shy, which is fair enough, um, but um, overall I had a great time there. I spent about an hour or so there. Um, I was really um, pleasantly uh, surprised at my time there. Anyway, I'm going to just show you some tobaccos. I made my first ever order from Boswell's. Um, you probably hear from British guys all the time that the, we have problems importing stuff from America and we get uh, nabbed by the tax man. Um, I'd, the other week I got an order in from Tobacco Pipes. The order cost I think was $59 and I paid more than that in tax so that was a real nasty hit. Um, so I was very happy when the Boswells came through without any tax deductions. So I bought a, a number of um, of their blends. Um, no Bite Delight. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that one's like. Um, it's got a quite a chocolatey smell to that, so we'll see what that's like. Hunter's Choice. That's quite mild, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it smells a little bit vanilla-y, but um, we'll see what that's like. And the Ubiquitous Cherry Smash, although I'm a uh, blood Red Moon kind of guy from Cult. That's might be my favourite tobacco for a long time. Well, a long time, for almost as long as I've been pipe smoking. This has got a really strong, sharp, kind of acidic cherry smell to it. Um, so 
So that's going to be interesting to see what that one's like. I hope I like it because I've bought four ounces of it. So let's see how that goes. And then of course, Northwoods, which I've never smoked before. And this is what I'm going to Christian my Peterson pipe with. That just smells straight away of barbecues. Not that's here, just barbecues. It smells like my burnt chicken off the barbecue. So we're going to give that a go. Uh, just find something to put this in back on. Alright, this feels pretty dry, so I'm not going to bother leaving it out. I'm only going to put a little bit in to try it. some uh, pipe cleaners as well, the usual, and they sent me some extra long ones, which was very nice, free, and we ordered some of those, some bits, softies. As per my uh, previous video clip, I reverse them nowadays. Forgot to do that because it's more comfortable. Sorry about that. that I've got a phone call through in bang in the middle of the video. So let's light it up. Mr. Bob Lighter, also in one of my uh, previous clips, and um, I can't recommend it enough. It's now my default lighter. Phenomenal, reliable, it's great. My only Complaint with it, not complaint, but my only observation is I'd love a deeper reservoir for fuel because um, I use it all the time and um, runs out of fuel. So you get a straight um, Latakia flavour straight away. Reminds me of one of the, I can't remember which one though, because they're all reasonably similar, although they've each got their own. Um, specific flavour but the frog morton it's like a mild frog morton it's very nice I mean uh, it's it's um, very early days it's my first ever smoke of it but the main flavour which comes through is the Latakia, the smokiness. Um, I can't yet taste anything else. There is a, a, a bit of a sweetness to it. A mild tobacco flavour. Um, for me, this is actually very nice. A nice mild smoke. I don't like a very heavy um, Latakia smoky flavour. So, for me, I think this will be a a good smoke. Having said that, um, the um, the Radford's Luxury Blend, I tried that in the shop in Newcastle and um, that's also a Latakia blend but it brought with it some spiciness and some sweetness. And it was more complex so I'm going to try that again before I order it um, in a greater amount. So I'm going to compare the two and see how which one would be my favourite, um, perhaps a more regular smoke. Um, but uh, this one... I think if I had to um, describe it straight away from the off, my initial impression, but not by any means a reliable impression, is that a mild Latakia blend. Um, that's how I describe it. Anyway, this uh, video has gone on for far too long. Um, I hope it's been entertaining and uh, you've enjoyed seeing the shop in Newcastle. I've certainly enjoyed spending I time found there. The, the shop in Newcastle to be amazing, and they were 
very flexible and very easy and, and couldn't uh, welcome me enough and I I'm sure next time I'm in the area I'll go in there again and I fully expect to be ordering from them online anyway so wishing everybody well hope you all have a very pleasant day and um, I'll be seeing you soon cheers